Hi, this is Gary with Mac Moments Now. In today's episode, let's focus in on creating pie charts in numbers. Numbers has the ability to create really great looking pie charts and it's important to know how to use them and manipulate them. So let's start with a blank numbers document here and say I want to create some sample data. So here I have some sample sales data that would make a nice pie chart. I'm going to shrink this table so it's exactly the size that I need right there. And then in order to create a pie chart, I'm simply going to select the entire thing and I'm going to click on the charts button here and jump to a pie chart. And this will bring up the inspector here and we'll put the chart here in a separate area. It'll also label everything. As long as I have that chart selected it's going to label all of the different rows here with the different colors so I can easily refer back and forth. So one of the first things you may want to do is change the colors here in this pie chart. So I'll click on chart colors here in the inspector and then I could go to any one of these themes here. So for instance I can go to uh, let's go to a brown theme and I can hit apply all and it's going to take this theme here and apply it. Um, I can also say drag a specific color to an area. So for instance uh, here if I wanted to drag the purple into this slice I could do that. Um, and then I have a lot of different things here including 3D texture fills for instance. I can apply that to it. You can see it applies there. Um, there's a lot of different themes to choose from and then you can drag and drop to arrange things as you want. Now I have a lot of other options here in the inspector. For instance I can show and hide the title of the chart. Uh, if I have it shown I can select it and uh, I can name it like that. Um, I can show or hide a legend. So uh, the legend here appears underneath. I'll scroll up a bit and you can see it right there. Uh, when it's shown I can actually select it and move it somewhere else. Um, even resize it like that if I want. Um, I can also show labels or not there um, and I can show the series name so I may want to actually remove the labels there and show the series name like that. I have uh, adjustments here I can show uh, like if I'm going to have the labels to show decimal places or not um, and different format options for that. Uh, so let's just put it simply like that. Now I've got the explosion feature where I can explode the chart like that to bring it apart which creates a neat visual effect. Now the cool thing is that you can do that with the entire chart. I can also go in here and select just one piece and explode just that one piece of the pie out like that. And I have the ability for the entire thing to rotate it. So if I can get something I want to feature at a certain angle I can do that. And I can add a shadow for the entire group or individuals. Uh, so an individuals make more sense if you are exploding the entire thing. Now this chart looks pretty cool but what's even cooler is if you do a 3D chart. So I'm going to switch the chart type and it gives me this 3D pie chart here. Uh, I can now manipulate it using this little control that comes up. Uh, it also comes up in the inspector here. You can see it at the bottom. Uh, so I can manipulate the angle in two different axes like that. And then I have the ability with a 3D chart as well to change the depth and to bevel the edges so it creates more definition between everything. And I still have the ability to do all the other stuff here like exploding the pieces if I want. Now if you have a really cool looking table you may want to print it out but you may not want to have this data here with it. So one of the things you can do is create a new sheet um, and this will create this completely new sheet here and then you can delete this table from it. So it's a blank sheet and go into this pie chart here and move it uh, by dr simply dragging to the second sheet here. Try that again. There you go. So now I've got uh, sheet 1 has got the data in it and sheet 2 has the pie chart in it. So now I can position this on a page and print it without having the spreadsheet on it as well. So there's a quick look at pie charts and numbers. It's a very versatile visual form for numbers. Uh, a lot of different things you can do with it. I encourage you to play around with it. 
I uh, hope you found this useful. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.